All right, so here we are again, and you guys have been calling for it, and I definitely want it. I want to clean this bay up a little bit. I am gonna start by taking off these headlights and kind of just removing the harnesses, the wiring harness that's going on each side of the car and make myself a little bit of space. So that way I can get in there and start cleaning real nice and then we'll start to uh, spray it up. All right, so that's the passenger side all taken care of. The uh, headlight out, unplugged the horn, ran everything through this little hole right here. Got everything out of the way. All the harness and stuff is up there. And I decided that I'm gonna leave uh, the clutch hard line there because even if I unbolt it, it's not gonna like swing freely and move out of the way where I can fold it up over here, you know? So I decided I'm just gonna wrap it with uh, plastic bags, really tight, tighten it down, and then I'll be able to clean all around it easily and spray. And so what I'm gonna be using is this purple power, which you've seen me use before, and then just like a little uh, sponge with the rough side and then the soft side. And I'll kind of just work it on in there, so keep spraying, work it on in, you know, and we'll see what comes of that. So you could say the bay was a little bit dirty. This is after just one round of the purple power. And you can kind of see the line where I've stopped there. Yeah. That's pretty much how it was. This is the driver's side. That's how it is now. That's one round. you guys so here's the progress so far and uh, check out that back firewall right obviously that's a little rough up there got some spots but right around in here it's looking pretty good and that's just from me you know wiping it and using the purple power um, if you look I've really gotten into you know cleaning up the proportioning valve here all the lines I got the crud off of let's see the uh, brake reservoir I've gotten a lot of the dirt off of and the valve there um, the tower, I mean really just trying to clean it up you guys even got into the um, the subframe here uh, Definitely cleaning that up. So coming along uh, What I'm going to be doing next is messing with these side towers These are the ones that I think I'm going to be painting I'm likely not going to be painting much of the back Maybe just like that top section But I'm going to go ahead in here and rough it up with a little bit of the sandpaper I'm going to start masking off some stuff that I don't want sprayed, and we'll start to shoot it. Alright, so everything is sanded on the front and on that side. I'm just going to do that first. And I'm going to go ahead and start doing things like this, masking off pieces that I do not want painted. So like this, I'm just going to put some tape over, plastic here. Shock tower, I'll just put some plastic over as well. And then I'm thinking like these bolt holes where there's uh, some threading, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape in there just so no paint gets in there and makes that sticky or anything. Excessive? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, everything's all wrapped up. Everything's out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and start shooting. All right, so that's after a couple rounds of the spray paint and then I actually used some clear as well. So it's not the shiniest thing in the world, but it definitely has a nice little look to it, I think. I did a couple different coats of the clear and I'm really happy, man. I mean, listen, compared to what it was before, goodness, it is a totally different thing. It's just crazy, I just wanted to say because like, you know, this video is like, what, a couple minutes so far? This has literally been hours worth of work. Like, if you are at this stage, you know, or if you've done this before, you know, but I mean, I probably have close to 10 hours into doing all of the prep. The painting is the easy part. That takes, you know, and then let it dry, then do it again, you know? But cleaning up the back here, like I didn't paint anything back there. That was all just getting in those little spots that's hard to reach. And then you see something else and you do a little more, you know, it's just like, it just keeps going. And so yeah, it's been a lot of work to get to this point so far, but I, I'm thrilled with it. <laughs> Is. That's the frost white paint. I definitely think it looks a little bit different than this guy right here. It's a, like a little bit duller, I would say. Um, like maybe like slightly darker. And I'm even wondering if that's just because of the clear coat too. But yeah, I mean, it looks so much better, you guys. I'm so happy with it so far. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is bolt up this uh, clutch line and just move like the uh, wiring harnesses for the headlights back. I'll go ahead and clean up these headlights a bit and we'll go ahead and put them back in their slots too. Okay, so here I'm with the headlight housing, not doing anything special, just taking my all-purpose cleaner there, and I'm just gonna get the dirt, you know, that's on these housings here off just so that it goes in a little bit nicer than what it came out. Maybe I can even back to black that, I don't know. We'll have to see. A little bit of it on my rag here. And then go ahead and just clean them up a bit. the one uh, driver side headlight and the wire harness there done. All hooked up, wired up.
All right, you guys, so that's where I'm gonna be leaving you this time. Um, I obviously still have stuff to do. I'm even thinking like these brackets and stuff. I may take those back off and soak them in some vinegar or something to get that rust off. Cause uh, you know, this isn't a show car or nothing, but man, it sucks putting that piece back on and it's all cruddy looking, you know? So um, yeah, I'm really happy, man. Um, it's, it's so crazy, you know, these videos, it's like, this video is just a couple minutes, but like I said, this was hours in the making. So yeah, I really appreciate y'all watching. Really would appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, really excited to go going on the next step, which is prepping the D16. So talking to you in the comments.